There's one thing I like more than guns, and that's winning. Guns are on the ballot this year, and GOA is here to help you see where a candidate stands on that issue. I'm Phil, and this is the Minuteman Moment. Unless you've been locked up in Biden's basement the last few months, you've probably heard that there's an election coming up on November 8th. And in our effort to make members and the general public more aware of who's pro-gun in this election, we've released a guide on how good the different candidates are for the upcoming election. In this description, we have a link to GOA's 2022 election guide, and that gives a letter grade to candidates on how good or bad they are on guns. And I'll give you a little sneak peek and pull back the curtain on our process and share how much growth we've had as of late. The short news is that GOA is quickly becoming a big deal in these elections. More and more people are realizing that GOA is the place to go if they want to be recognized as the pro-gun fighter in their race for the Second Amendment. This year, we got a record of over 500 candidates in both the primary and the general election to take our survey. Guys, that is huge. Word is getting out that GOA's endorsement is a big deal. In 2020, more than 80% of our endorsed candidates won the election. We talked to a lot of candidates about what they think about gun rights. And a lot of these guys don't have any voting record at all. And so that's why we can give you a better insight into what they think about the Second Amendment. Our federal affairs team is working with our regional and state directors to get an on the ground look at the best pro Second Amendment folks running for election. Now, when we're having these conversations, there's a lot of great guys who don't make the cut for a lot of different reasons. But you have to keep in mind, when reviewing our scorecard, we're only thinking about their stance on guns. So you may not like a candidate for their views on foreign policy or abortion the border, or their views on maritime trade with Peru. We don't care about the cost of lima beans, we care about guns. GOA doesn't reveal how our candidates answer their questions on the surveys, because that promised privacy encourages people who may disagree with us on a thing here or there to take it anyway. The more people who take our survey, the better. Because if they vote in a way that conflicts with how they promised they would vote, we can hold them accountable for basically lying to us and really lying to all of you. Keep in mind, GOA doesn't require federal office holders to take the survey since they have a voting record on the Second Amendment. For all incumbents who are denoted by an asterisk mark, we rate them based on their congressional scorecard, which you can also see on GOA's website and it's also linked in the description. If you wanna look for the best of the best, you look for the A plus candidate. If a member just gets an A, that means they've never had a bad vote in this Congress or they returned a perfect survey. But we will only give a plus to those members who go above and beyond and actually introduce a strong bill. When you run for Congress or you are in Congress, there's a lot of different issues that can take you up your time. It's pretty common to see a great member who always votes right all the time, but is kind of focused on other issues that aren't related to guns. We only give an A plus to a candidate who has proven guns are their top issue by actually introducing and fighting for that legislation. The more A plus people we put into office, the more the conversation gets shifted to how we can help gun owners. Bear in mind, if a candidate gets an A minus or lower, that's not the end of the world, sometimes. Also bear in mind, a voting record and campaign promise isn't everything. No system is foolproof. Once they're in office, they can do whatever they want until it's time for a re-election. Every election, there's always gonna be someone that we endorse or push for that ends up being a disappointment for us. That's because we don't have perfect knowledge. We're fighting as hard as we can with what we know we can do. This election, we've spent more than twice what we have in previous elections. That has to do with the fact that we're rapidly growing. And if you wanna keep that growth going, hit the link below. Once we elect a new slate of awesome two-way candidates, it doesn't stop there. We need to keep working with them by teaching them how to use their principles effectively. But that will only happen if they actually win their elections. So check out who's the best candidate in your area. See if you can volunteer or even donate to him or her. Most important of all, please vote. Eyes on the prize. Let's go for victory. All right, that's it for now. I'll see you next time.